all, I am Anu. Welcome to our YouTube channel. An engineer in Indian Railways, which is the fourth largest railway network in the world, is definitely a sought-after job for every engineering diploma holders and engineering graduates. Railway Recruitment Board Junior Engineer Exam, that is RRB JE exam, is the only barrier to fulfill this dream job. So it's very important to know how well you should prepare to crack the exam. Here are some points which will help you to prepare well. First one, basic understanding of exam pattern and syllabus. It's an unavoidable part in every exam preparation. For RRB JE, enter recruitment process involve three stages. First stage is a computer-based test that is CBT. It's a common test for all engineering departments. This is a one hour, 30 minute exam comprises 100 questions of 100 mark. In this first stage exam, questions will be asked from four sections. 30 questions from mathematics, 25 questions from general intelligence and reasoning, 15 questions from general awareness and 30 questions from general science. For each right answer, you will get one mark and for each wrong answer, you will lose one by third mark. The first stage CBT is of screening nature and the standard of questions for the CBT will be generally in conformity with the educational standards and minimum technical qualifications prescribed for the post. The category wise minimum passing percentage are general 40%, OBC 30%, SC 30%, ST 25%. Second stage CBTs differ in its syllabus as per the technical department you applied for. It is a two-hour exam comprises 150 questions of 150 marks. Questions will be asked from five sections. 15 questions from general awareness, 15 questions from physics and chemistry, 10 questions from basics of computers and application, 10 questions from basics of environment and pollution control, and the remaining 100 questions from technical abilities. Questions from the section technical abilities varies according to the technical cadre you applied for. You can collect the detailed syllabus from the official notification which is published in the official website of Railway Recruitment Board. Shortlisting of candidates for the third stage which is document verification shall be based on the normalized marks obtained by them in the second stage CBT. Candidates called for document verification will have to pass requisite medical fitness tests conducted by the railway administration to ensure that the candidates are medically fit to carry out the duties connected with the post opted by them. Visual acuity standard is one of the important criteria of medical fitness of railway staff. Knowing thoroughly the exam pattern and syllabus will help you to make suitable study plan as per your weak and strong points. So here we have completed the basic exam pattern for RRB JE exam. Now the next point is to know the study materials and books for the exam. Since the first stage CBT is focused on the aptitude questions, it is important to start your preparations with aptitude studies. Considering mathematics is of high weightage, it is good to start your preparations with maths. You can watch our video classes on various aptitude topics. You can click on the card which is right here on the top or you can watch it from the direct link provider in the description box below. If you want to refer books for aptitude preparations, you can study from the books Quantitative Aptitude for Competitive Examinations by R.S. Agarwal, Fast Track Objective Arithmetic by Rajesh Verma, A Modern Approach to Verbal and Nonverbal Reasoning by R.S. Agarwal, etc. For general science and general awareness, you can study from Lucent's general knowledge, Pratyokida Darpan, Manorama yearbook, etc. For technical studies, you can buy the required books from the link provided in the description box. In the third step, before you start to prepare the study plan, it is good to have a look on the previous year question papers on RRB JE. This is easily available in various books, websites, etc. This will help you to figure out the question pattern and the level of questions. It is good to solve one previous question paper before you make a study plan because this will easily give a good idea on the exam. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So start your preparation now itself. Be consistent in your studies. Study at least 3 to 4 hours daily. Practice more questions. It will definitely help your performance on the D-Day. Give some time for timely revision as well. Stay motivated and eat healthy. All the best for the exam. Hope this video was helpful. For more videos, please visit and subscribe our channel. Thank you.